Now I am going to discuss a hemodynamic tracing. A tracing with pressure tracings from the left ventricle and aorta obtained during cardiac catheterization. A catheter has to be introduced into the left ventricle as well as another catheter has to be placed in the aorta. That is how this tracing has been obtained. We will discuss what it means. This is a drawing, not exact tracing from the left ventricle and aorta. It is a drawing to illustrate the features. This is a pressure scale in millimeters of mercury and this axis will be time and this red tracing is of pressure tracing from the iota while the yellow tracing is pressure tracing from the left ventricle. This is systolic portion and this is diastolic portion. This region will correspond to the left ventricular and diastolic pressure and this is the pressure crossover between the left ventricular and aortic pressure tracing and this notch is called as the incisura. There is obviously a difference between the peak pressure in the left ventricle and the peak pressure in the aorta. This is known as the peak to peak gradient. So cath derived gradient is known as peak to peak gradient. When you get a Doppler gradient in echocardiography, it will not correspond to this peak to peak gradient. It will be the peak instantaneous gradient. For example, if you look at these tracings, you can know that this is not the actual peak instantaneous gradient. Peak instantaneous gradient will be somewhere here because that will be the maximum gradient. So a Doppler recording will show a gradient almost corresponding to this region which will certainly be higher than the peak to peak gradient measured by cardiac catheterization. This is how mean gradient is calculated after cardiac catheterization. The shaded area is the gradient between the two tracings and the area is calculated electronically and the mean is calculated to give the mean gradient. Obviously mean gradient will be less than the peak to peak gradient. So mean gradient uh, earlier it used to be measured by planimetry. Uh, the tracing will be printed out on a graph paper and a device known as planimeter is used to measure the mean gradient. But now nobody bothers about planimeter. The electronic equipment within the cardiac catheterization recorder will give you the mean gradient. This is how gradient is measured in Doppler echocardiography. You can see the aortic tracing taken by continuous wave from the region of the aortic wall and the peak gradient can be measured. In this case, if you want to take the mean gradient, you should uh, sketch out the outline and then the computer will give the mean gradient. Here it has not been shown. As I mentioned earlier, this is the peak instantaneous gradient calculated from the peak aortic velocity. Aortic velocity is shown here and by the formula 4v squared you get the peak gradient. But here you don't have to calculate, the echocardiograph calculates it for you once you show the peak velocity to the machine. And when there is a significant gradient, it is aortic stenosis. This is from an original case recording while the previous one was a diagram.